Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hello and welcome to Share Talk. Today we are joined by Davinder Rai, who is the CEO of Hellenic Dynamics. Davinder, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. Can you start by telling us the reasons for setting up the company? Yes, no, of course. Um, in 2018, my father uh, had some post cancer surgery. He's fine. Um, but during the recovery phase, his doctors put him on a very heavy dose of opioid pain medication. It soon became apparent to, to the family that the, uh, the pain medication was actually not doing the best for him. So we started looking at alternatives for opioids. Um, that's when I first came across medical cannabis. Started investigating it during the later stages of 2018, 2019. Uh, Travelled around Europe extensively and understood that THC dominant medical cannabis was in huge demand, especially in countries like Germany that had legalized it in 2017. Uh, working back from there, you know, what was the purpose of the company? The purpose was to supply THC dominant medical flowers into the European market. To do that, we needed to be a European player. So in late 2019, we went over uh, with our partners into Greece and identified a, uh, a facility, a plot of land that ticks all of the legislative boxes for the cultivation of medical cannabis. So we took over a uh, 200,000 square meter ex United Nations military facility. The facility itself has 14 buildings on it. Four, five of those are these vast sort of overground uh, blast bunkers that look like Easter heads as you're, as you're driving in. Um, the, the bunkers themselves have meter thick insulated walls, which is an ideal uh, place to, to cultivate cannabis. We then got our license in 2019 uh, for 40,000 square meters of active THC cultivation from our license of 40,000 square meters. Um, that's how we. That's how I got got into the space and getting into it further. The whole opioid uh, versus cannabis thing was a real eye opener for me. Um, one of the statistics that I've read recently is that the UK is the largest prescriber of opioids per capita in the world, and on top of that, we have uh, just over I think six hundred thousand patients that have dependency issues, and somewhere in the region of ninety ninety percent of patients that have been prescribed opioids have said that in long term that they no longer work. You then look at the states where medical cannabis is legal in certain states and in those states the opioid prescriptions are down up to 30 percent. So this is a real alternative to, to opioids and, and this is my foray into it. Gosh fascinating I didn't actually know that. Um, can you tell us about your progress to date? Yeah, so taking over the facility in 2019, we've um, spent significant amounts of money developing the site. Uh, one of the, the key aspects of any cultivation facility is security, uh, as well as locality to, to places of worship and schools. So we're very lucky in taking over this ex-United Nations military facility because it already ticked a lot of the legislative boxes that we needed for cannabis cultivation. Um, but then security kicks in. So the site is, is vast. Um, but we have 140 motion sensing cameras, full security uh, certification. The bunkers are, have been worked on since 2018, as well as office areas, post-harvest areas. Uh, so the facility is very much ready to, to rock and roll, uh, to, to, to grow those THC dominant strains. Um, and hopefully by way of the funds received from, from this RTO onto the main market, it, it's more than enough for us to, to, to see our plans through um, to, to get those products into patients' hands. And uh, talking of funds received, what will you be using those cash proceeds for? So we did an RTO uh, into UK SPAC PLC for readmission onto the main market, which occurred on, on Monday last week. Uh, the total gross proceeds available to us is 2.626 million. Uh, on top of the work that's already been carried out in Greece, those remaining funds will be to buy and install the last pieces of, of equipment. Um, and we're looking to, to get our products cultivated within Q2 of this year. And Devinder, when do you expect to have your first sales? Um, the, the plant is, yes, you know, it's a very, very fast growing plant. From a, a, we're growing from clones rather than seeds to, to ensure genetic uh, stability across everything that we supply. So from a clone to a, a full grown plant, we we're talking six to seven weeks. Um, and, and that can occur every six to seven weeks. So we're looking to get our products, uh, the first crop out into patients' hands in Q2 of next year. Um, and we have already 
um, by way of two offtake agreements into the German market, uh, pre-sold effectively what, what we feel is about two years worth of, of cultivation um, uh, in our facility. Very exciting. Finally, for today, can you tell us your reasons for listing? There was a, a few. Um, I think for me personally, it's that first mover advantage. There's not been a cannabis cultivator to list on the main market. We, we, we've taken the plunge. The, the market is where it is. The geopolitical situation is, is where it is. But we feel having that first mover advantage, being that first cultivator, be, being the one that, you know, we're not specifically talking about acquisitions, but we are in a position that, that those can happen. And I think uh, what we will find in the European space which is very akin to what happened in North American and Canadian spaces, you will see consolidation of, of very small companies uh, into the larger companies such as, you know, Canopy and, uh, and Aurora. Um, that potentially, you know, that gives us an, a good position being on the main market to, to do the same like. Zinder, thank you very much for joining thank us today. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching Share Talk. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.